there are still many innovations happening in the 3D printing world. So let's take a look at some of the newest and most amazing 3D printers. Now established in an affordable desktop model, the Mini was one of the first printers to feature a monochrome LED for printing. The 8K has a resolution of 22 microns, which is 30% more than its predecessor. With a 7500 by 3200 pixel resolution, it's kind of like an 8K TV, but this particular machine is more suitable for smaller prints, such as jewelry or fine parts. Users also have access to a 3.5 inch touchscreen, along with a USB slot. All this amounts to $600, which is not too bad for a consumer product. Another innovative printer on the market right now is the Prusa XL. With features including a modular bed and jam detection sensors, the XL is a nice update to conventional FDM printers. Its most impressive feature is its inbuilt tool changer, which allows the machine to operate up to five different tool heads. This relies on a kinematic coupler mechanism with automatic tool alignment calibration. So it's based on the same load sensor and it doesn't require any tedious calibration prints. For now, it does support five different extruders, but there could be upgrades in the future with different tools. However, this model is a little bit more expensive and it starts out at around $2,000. At number 5, the LIQ7. Based on liquid additive manufacturing, the 7 will enable full color 3D printed silicone parts for the first time. This works by heating rubber and thermally cross linking the material into a solid. So there is no post processing and the parts are usable straight out of the printer. There is also speculation that this printer will have similar features to the TIQ5, such as a water cooled print head and a smart tracking feature for precision. At number 4, the Meltio printer. Laser deposition has come a long ways, and this particular company produces some of the most impressive machines. The LMD toolhead utilizes multiple high power lasers to melt metal feedstock onto a substrate, resulting in parts that have high strength and durability. The material can be fed coaxially, so the process can be done in a multiple axis, along with the capability of building alloys with a dual extruder. Materials include titanium, inconel, and even stainless steel. This kind of process is very accurate, so it can print anything from turbines to a rotary screw compressor. At number 3, we get to a really interesting printer made by Bond 3D. Unlike conventional fused filament fabrication, this printer utilizes a pressure controlled extrusion process, whereby the printed filament settles in final part densities above 99% which basically means the parts are voidless and retain a high degree of strength. So this printer basically makes polymers, and these can be constructed without losing the inherent properties of the materials. These polymers can be used as an alternative to metal prints for corrosion resistance or even insulator properties. At number two, the LSAM printer. This particular company leads the forefront when it comes to large scale additive manufacturing machines. They have over 32 patents for the MT and additive variants. Its print head features a compression wheel to improve layers and a thermal sensor that automatically adjusts layer temperatures to improve the layer fusion process. The very large printer can also go up to 45 degrees with a VLP option that maximizes versatility. All this amounts to very large parts which can weigh up to 2000 pounds. However, this is not the only big guy on the market so to speak as Big Rep revealed their extrusion machine with one cubic meter build volumes. One of the weirdest forms of 3D printing involves bioprinting cultivated meat. Meatech's latest 3.5 ounce steak was formed through isolating stem cells from a sample and then multiplying these cells until they reach sufficient mass. The stem cells can then be formulated into a bio ink. Utilizing a digital model, the company fabricates the steak and places it in an incubator to mature. At this time, the cells then separate into fat and muscle cells. The company plans to make steaks which are indistinguishable from the real thing, but I'm a little bit skeptical of that. Obviously, this won't be a true replacement for some people out there, but this could be an excellent supplement for maybe something like space travel. But let me know what you think about this whole process involving bioprinting. Extra 3D has claimed to harness the benefits of SLA, DLP, and LCD all into one hybrid machine. This new method is called hybrid photosynthesis, which can use DLP and SLA to work at the same time on the same wavelength. In turn, this creates parts with impressive accuracy, reliability, and scalability. Printing speeds can range up to 9mm per minute, 
with a maximum volume of 24 liters. This company has just revealed this new tech, so there is still a lot of unknowns about this new printer, but the company plans to produce around 10 beta phase printers by June. So unfortunately, we do not have replicator style technology just yet, but I would like to know what you think about all these new developments. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.